Yeah, hey YouTube, um, just decided to do another video in the uh, greenhouse. I have a lot of stuff in here now because I've done a lot of things from seeds and it's uh, getting really uh, uh, big and it's still too cold to put stuff outside so I'm kind of running out of space but I'll kind of give you a rundown of what's happening. I'll just take it slow. Um, on this side, this is uh, because of uh, the uh, increased sunlight, the plants are really starting to take off. This is the orange tree, um, starting to bear fruit. Um, here's the first one, as you can see here, and uh, it's looking quite good. Uh, this is the uh, uh, lemon, we talked about this before. Uh, this is a Meyer lemon tree. It's, you can see it's starting to really take off, going right up into the actual, the actual vent that I got up here. Um, uh, this is another uh, 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 lime, Persian lime. That's what it looks like and the tree is doing quite well. I transplanted the uh, jackfruit into my actual bed. This is what the jackfruit uh, looks like and it's just, you see all these new leaves now that it's actually taken off. Um, if you see in the bottom here, these are just all my um, tomato plants that you see here that I'm just waiting for the uh, weather to warm up so I can plant them outside. I want to show you this. I've actually started uh, deep water culture stuff and um, these are a series of four pots that I have in uh, uh, these are just the uh, clay pellets you see here and um, I started these I have another 20 of them that I want to put outside with a floating raft system uh, that I've created I'll show you that later once I finish that but I wanted to show you this uh, um, all these plants I grew from seeds um, I didn't buy them from a nursery they're all from seed and uh, this is the first thing for my deep water culture let me see if I can get this up here so you can take a look at this without being very careful and you can see the roots starting to come down and this just uh, has been in here for about four weeks now in a couple of weeks this, the roots will just be really really gosh, really a lot of roots will be uh, flowing down there um, the way it works um, you put it in this pot you put air stones in there and um, uh, you uh, put some uh, solution uh, nutrient solution in there and uh, the plants grow really well as you can see, um, this plant is just about to start uh, uh, blossoming, um, so it's really doing uh, quite well. Um, so yeah, so again, series of four pots. This is the uh, another one. You can see inside it, it's uh, aerated. Um, so I got uh, 20 of these that are going to go outside, and um, oh. and then um, I'm going to make that be recirculated. The difference between recirculating and uh, just deep water culture, the water recirculates, this is just not recirculating, it's just uh, uh, the solution in uh, air stone bubbling. So I'll show you how I put that together next next week or so. I'm uh, starting on that project with the uh, floating rass system for my uh, lettuce. So over here, a lot of stuff is starting to blossom. Again, these are just uh, tomatoes that I have here. Um, they're probably about two feet tall and you know they're blossoming and I need to get them outside I'm just running out of space uh, and if you remember my grapefruit you know come around this side uh, you can see uh, they're starting to form let's zoom in on this and it's getting quite big a couple of weeks uh, it should be really huge it's even starting to blossom again I noticed that uh, this morning uh, there's more blossoms there starting to form so it's looking quite well Passion fruit is going well. This is the figs, and if you remember, it's just really taking off. Uh, there's like figs everywhere. And if you can see that, it's just, just gone crazy with the increased sunlight. They're just really ready to really thrive. Um, so yeah. Uh, I want to show you this. This is the uh, guava. This is the guava tree. And um, it's also starting to blossom. If I could zoom in, you can see there. Is, uh, Bob. Now this is actually strawberry guava. This is what it looks like. I don't know if I could get back up on that. Right, it looks like that. And uh, everywhere is just loaded uh, with, with uh, blossom. I'm really impressed with my mango tree. Take a look at this. This is uh, everywhere. It just this blossoms everywhere on this tree. If you can see that, everywhere is just, just going crazy. And I noticed for the first time I'm starting to see mangoes starting to form. I don't know if I could get this. It's uh, really tiny. And if you can see right there, right there, if you look, uh, let's see, can you 
right, right in that spot, you can see that it's actually starting. And it's like that all over the tree. Um, I didn't know you could do this in the, in the greenhouse. I was just basically giving it a shot, uh, considering our climate, and apparently you can. Uh, this is just another uh, grapefruit, just what it looks like, right? And then I got flowers. And this is just all my stuff I have planted from seed. Just going like crazy, just waiting to go outside. Uh, orchids and stuff, I do flowers as well, and they're also ready. This one's actually starting to shoot. But here's the actual uh, bed. Now all this stuff is from seed. I don't know if you remember from my last video. Let's look at this. Look at the growth on this. Look at this tomato uh, that I planted from seed in the aquaponic system. And look how it's just taking off. It's actually starting to, I can see blossom. Like it's about to form at the top. I just, just look at this. Look at the uh, the uh, the uh, peas that I planted. It's actually bearing peas. Um, all from seeds. This is just loaded. There's some more in the back. I got tomatoes now from my uh, dwarf that I planted that are already starting to form. All from seeds. Look over here. Parsley from seed. Um, over here. You can see that. Uh, this uh, pepper that I moved over here um, that I had last year is starting to blossom. So everything's starting to blossom. Uh, my fish, uh, I should probably should show you this. Um, I did harvest some last week and uh, the ones I have in there are getting quite big. I'll show you that. You can see they're, they're actually doing quite well. Um, there is a lot. Um, even though I harvest a lot um, from my last video, there's still a lot in there. You kind of throw something and they kind of show you. Just look at that. It's just like they're like going crazy. Look how much of uh, these tilapias I have in here. And they're actually starting to, uh, 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 actually when, actually starting to uh, have babies again. I have to pull some of the ones out that I, I, I suspect uh, that are gonna have babies and put them in a side tank. Um, but um, it's doing quite well. So this is just a, a quick overview I know it's short. Oh, maybe I should kind of show you this. This is actually uh, cucumbers. Um, so actually, cucumbers are starting to form. Uh, this was uh, strawberries. Um, okay, let's kind of move around here. I didn't cover this. Uh, this tree, if any you guys know, this is actual uh, a dragon fruit. Let me kind of zoom in on this so you guys can see what it looks like. And uh, this is going to blossom this year. I mean, look at the growth. Look at this guy. It's going all the way up. I mean, look, look, look at here. You can see the growth on this guy. It's just going all the way. When it blossoms, I hear the blossoms are really beautiful. It's a dragon fruit. It tastes like kiwi. Um, I'll kind of show you that. Also, um, the trees outside, I'm gonna do another video because uh, they will probably blossom in about four weeks. I'll, show, I'll probably do a snapshot of that and my uh, floating raft system that I'm putting together and uh, kind of show you guys um, you know what's happening so uh, this is just a quick uh, overview of uh, what's going on and I guess I'll see you guys in another video bye